It's exam season. A stressful time for many, but these children in Hodeida are studying in the middle of the biggest battle in Yemen's three-year war. They have little electricity, suffer scorching temperatures, and are at risk of being killed on their way to school. Many are suffering under very difficult conditions. It's hot. We have power cuts and as a result many students struggle to study. We're nearing the end of the tests, but the good news is there's been a large turnout of students. This war has caused huge frustrations for many students. Only one third of my students are present. The other two thirds have fled. About 35,000 families have fled Hodeida's war. But most internally displaced people are living in such tough conditions, many children simply drop out of school. Others have escaped from being recruited by the warring sides. They sent us to Sana'a taking the back roads. They captured us in a checkpoint. They took us into tunnels and asked us to stay there. They gave us weapons, told us to say we're from ISIL, and told us to wait for them and come back. We stayed one week. Yemeni government forces, backed by the Saudi-UAE coalition, continue their assault on Houthi rebels in Hodeida, which has been taking place for more than a month. The port handles most of Yemen's imports, making it an important area for the coalition to cut off the rebels' lifeline. But the consequences of this could put millions of lives at risk. The United Nations says Yemen's education system has been devastated by the conflict. And since the start of the war, about half a million children have dropped out of school. As the war goes on with little sign of ending, an entire generation of Yemeni children face a difficult future. Laura Badamanli, Al Jazeera.